The LCC Canine Comfort Dog Ministry is dedicated to prayer. Many times the LCC Canine Comfort Dogs and Handlers walk into unknown situations. Canine Comfort Dog Handlers and Ministry Partners pray for God's direction, presence, and words each time they are deployed to visit the hurting and in need. The handlers and ministry partners will pray with and for the people they meet, seeking God's comfort, healing, and help where it is needed. Oftentimes, people will hug or hold close to one of the LCC canine comfort dogs as they silently say a prayer. Talking to God and relying on His power, strength, comfort, healing, and hope remind us that we are not alone in any of the challenges we face. So as we talk about prayer, we're going to also talk about who we talk to about things in our lives. So who do you talk to when you have a bad day? Who do you talk to when something awesome happens? We like to talk to the people who are important to us about both the good and the bad things in our lives. Maybe you talk with your parents, your friends, your teachers, and other special people. An incredible opportunity that we have as Christians is to talk with our Heavenly Father about all of these good, bad things, and anything in between. When we talk to God, we call this prayer. Prayer is an important piece of who we are and what we do as followers of Jesus. It is a way for us to talk with God about our lives and what is going on. We are promised that our Heavenly Father will hear us as we pray. This means that whether you're having a good or a bad day, you can talk to God about it just like you would talk to your friends. We have three verses to, for today, and our first verse is 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, which says, Always be joyful, never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Even though it can be hard to always have joy and be thankful in all circumstances, it helps when we never stop praying like this verse says. Our next verse is Psalm 50 verse 15, which says, Then call on me when you are in trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. This verse tells us that we can always talk to God even when we are in trouble. He promises to rescue us from our troubles. You may find it hard to pray sometimes because you don't know what to say or how to talk with God. And this last verse that we're going to look at kind of helps us with this. It gives us comfort when we don't know what to pray for or how to pray. Romans 8 verse 26 says, And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we do not know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings too deep for words. God allows us to talk with Him at any time or anywhere. There are no right or wrong ways to pray, but we do have a few ways to help you get started. One easy way to pray is to think about it as a please and a thank you prayer. With a please and a thank you prayer, you can think of the things that you're asking God for and the things that you are thanking God for. So using the please and thank you prayer can help me to be thankful in all circumstances like our verse from 1 Timothy says. Even when life is scary, I can be thankful. It also helps me to bring everything to God. The things that I'm worried about, the things that I'm happy about, and everything else. Another easy way to pray is the five finger prayer. So for this prayer, I'm going to ask you to hold your hand up with me. And we're going to start our five finger prayer with our thumb. Now your thumb is what's closest to you. And that reminds us to pray for the people that we are close to, like our parents, sisters, and brothers, and even our friends. Next is our pointer finger, which helps us to pray for the people who point us in the right direction. This means that we'll pray for our teachers, coaches, pastors, and anyone else who helps us to follow Jesus. Our third finger is our tallest finger, and it reminds us to pray for the people who are in charge. Some of these people that you can pray for are your school principal, your city mayor, the state governor, and even our country's president. Anyone who is in charge of you is someone you can pray for with your tallest finger. The fourth finger is your ring finger, and it's actually the weakest finger on your hand. Did you know that? Because this finger is weak, it reminds us to pray for the people who are weak, the sick and the suffering. People who are homeless, people who are in need of food, and people who may have trouble in their life are all people that we can pray for. 
Our last finger is our pinky finger, and it's a reminder to pray for ourselves. We can pray and thank God for all of the ways that He takes care of us, along with asking for the things that you need. You can even pray and say thank you that Jesus died on the cross to forgive all of your sins. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to talk with you and bring both the good and the bad things to you. Please hear us as we pray. Help us in every situation to trust that you are listening and will deliver us and rescue us when we need it. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen.